What's up guys? Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll post weekly videos on creating passive income and that's what we all want, we want to be independent. So subscribe. What's up YouTube? We're into session 4 of the Amazon Selling for Beginner series. Last week we checked out how we could find a supplier. The weeks before that we found our product and we optimized our product. So now we can actually make our account and make a listing which will be shown on Amazon. Um, before we start, I want to say that this week we start uh, with creating an account and listing. Then next week we will create a shipping plan. And then the last week, so in two weeks, we'll start selling our product on Amazon, which is the end goal. We want to make $10,000 a month. And it's seriously possible and I'll show you guys. So let's get into this session. All right, so you gotta start out by going to sellercentral.amazon.com, then you click on register now, then you click on start selling, and then you can make your account. Just click on create your Amazon account, follow the steps, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to do it with you because it's, it's really easy. Just follow the steps that are given to you and then you will come into Amazon Seller Central. And let me log in for you guys and then you show how that looks like. All right, so this is Amazon Seller Central. What you see here, and I'm not gonna ex explain everything, uh, my suggestion to you is to just check all the tabs, figure out what everything is, because my videos would be too long to explain this to you guys but I'll only show you the essential parts which we need to actually sell on Amazon. But in short, if you just created your account, uh, somewhere here it will, said, uh, will say uh, documents needed. And these documents are very essential for you to be a legal person to be doing this. And I suggest you do this right away because if you're too late with doing this, they will ban you from Amazon and you won't be selling on Amazon at all. So I would say that's step one to do. And once you've done that, you can create your listing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to inventory. You click on add a product because that's what we wanna do. And then we say create new product listing. You don't want an existing product. You want a product that you'll be creating and you'll be selling, so it's a new product. Once you get here, you need to find your category. How do you do this? Very easy, you just look at competitors, see what their category is, and you copy them. And where can you find their category? You just scroll down a bit. And then here at the product information, at the bottom, you'll see home and kitchen, bath, bathroom accessories, bathtub accessories, bathtub trays. All right, let's try to find this. So it was, Kitchen. So if you find kitchen somewhere, I might be blind here. I think it's home. Yes, here we go. Home and garden, bed and bath. We want bath accessories, it was. Yeah, bathroom trays. All right, so here we go. Then we click on select. All right, so then we get into this screen. And what you do here, you gotta fill in some vital info. And what is product ID? Every product in the world needs a barcode. You won't find any product without a barcode. So your product needs a barcode as well. Don't be scared, it's really easy to get this. All you need is to buy a code and this code will be hanged onto that uh, barcode and Amazon is gonna do that for you. But all you need is a code. Where do you get this code? I use speedybarcodes.com and here for five bucks you can actually buy one barcode. You can buy it and then in your email box you will get a code which I just received. This is my UPC code. So all you have to do is copy that, go to product ID, paste it here and that's enough. Then uh, you will get a barcode printed so 
you got like the image for it below that will be a name and this name will be here so for me it will be east buddy bathtub caddy tray maybe add premium or something then brand name is our brand name our branding manufacturer don't get confused by putting your supplier here because you're the one responsible for the sale you're the one responsible for selling this product so we'll be doing our own brand for this then variations you don't need to touch then here you can just keep this put you put a price for now you can always change this later you can do like a customized SKU but I, I'd say let uh, Amazon generate this uh, what this means is like a code you get for every product you're going to sell so ease buddy like ease one and then the second product is going to be ease two it will be just easier for you for your logistics but I don't use it myself I just let it be generated by Amazon so you can do that too condition you have to put on new because you're selling it new and quantity is one we we don't have any stock yet and let's just say we'll sell one product that's all right for now and here you can put images but we'll do this later all right so then you click save and finish what i forgot to mention is how do you print your barcode because it has been generated you just click go to your manage inventory you click on print item labels and here you can print them make sure to send this to your supplier put it on your packaging because you must do that make sure your product packaging has this label on it all right so what you can see here and i blanked out this bottom part because this is actually a new product i'll be working on and i don't want everyone jumping into this niche so that's why i'm blurring it but here we have our inventory with all our products and we just see the product we just created and now what you want to do first is change this to oh wait it, it has to process first first you have to wait like a few minutes to, to let it get processed and after that you get a few more options here and we need to do something important so I'll be right back with you guys all right so we're back it, it has updated and here what you have to do here is change to fulfilled by Amazon this is extremely important because you want to be, to let Amazon do all the logistics. You don't want to have a lot of work on it. So click that here. Then you see this. Then we have manufacturer barcode because this is the barcode we just created. It's going to be merchant. All right. So then we say convert and send inventory. All right, here you can click, are there any dangerous goods with it? So is there batteries in it? Any product regulation informations? No, and then submit. And then save and continue. All right, so we're not going to uh, send a replenish inventory. And now you say, see, here it says now change to fulfilled by merchant. So this means we're on fulfilled by Amazon right now. So what you want to do right now, we're going to edit the listing. So you click on edit. And here you'll see a bit more of what we need to put in. All right. So if you go to Fidel Info, the product name is going to be, and I opened the competitor, is going to be this. And this is going to be very important. As you know, Amazon is like a Google for e-commerce. So people will be typing in keywords like on a daily basis and keywords are very important for you to sell your stuff. So we need to do some proper keyword search and fill in the whole product name with these words because you want to be ranked for as many words as possible. How do we find the right keywords? I use Keyword Inspector, I actually have a link in the description below so you can check it out. But this actually is super, super, 
super amazing because you can click here on reverse ASIN and what you then do is you paste your ASIN here and what is this ASIN? ASIN is like a unique uh, Amazon seller code which every product on Amazon has so this competitor this is actually the listing who is ranking the highest so we want to know what keywords he is using and with keyword inspector you can actually do that so you copy this ASIN in here then you click on yeah the three credit credit one is all right you can do more detailed versions as well but in my experience the three free credit one is uh, all right and what you're going to get then and I actually opened it already you will have an Excel file with all the top ranked keywords he is using and then also what you're going to get is the estimated an estimate of the daily sales an estimate of the daily search volume estimate per month sales and estimate per month search volume and what you can do here now is look at the, the words which have high sale frequency so here for daily sales on this keyword and it says book caddy for above and it has a high search volume so you pick these products out and we now know book caddy for above is a very good keyword to be on so what we're going to do we go to our listing and you want this to be in in inside of the name so you have to be creative with this just figure it out uh, yourself but you see the point of what I mean like this guy uses bamboozy bathtub caddy bamboo buff tray with extending sides reading rack tablet holder cell phone tray and wine glass holder perfect gift ID for a mother's day so he made like one big sentence he also uses all his words he can use and now he gets ranked for this but the important thing to get ranked is as well um, you go to uh, keywords this is very important because you want to type here your search terms and you can add up to five tabs and you I suggest you use them all you can use 250 characters in each uh, uh, section so what you want to do here is paste as many keywords as you can and actually the top ones will be ranked earlier than the second row and the third row and the fourth row and the fifth row so here you want to have your main keyword and you want your title keywords to be in this first column as well so you fill in a title you want those keywords to be ranked as well so you put them in the search terms and what you then also have to do in your description you have to put these keywords as well and what is your description if you scroll down this is a description so you want the keywords here in here as well so try to make a good story and like insert the keywords without making it looking too obvious and then the last part to do is you want to go to uh, key product features and here you can also add up to five tabs and what these are is this is going to be your bullet points which are very important as you can see here you will have certain bullet points which show some features of the product and people are going to be reading this a lot so you want your keywords in here as well and you also want to make it look good so spend some time creating some good messages with the right keywords in here because you need it in the title you need it in the bullet points you need it in the description and you need it in the keyword backend so research products with keyword inspector check them out then make sure you put them in all those described things and then you'll be sure that you'll be ranked as high as you can that's basically what you have to do for now images i will post a video later on how you can make perfect product photos yourself for under 10 bucks so make sure to stay tuned for that uh, for the other points 
this is all like sale price and stuff. You, you're going to use this when you're actually selling on Amazon. You can change the price already because that's pretty important. But during your Amazon journey, you're going to be in into this uh, thing a lot in this editor. So I'm not going to explain everything. Just read some things, fill in what you can fill in. But the things I just described are the most important. All right. So then we created our listing and I recommend to you guys that you spend a lot of time in optimizing your listing. Look at a lot of competitors because you can learn a lot from competitors. Once you've done that, then we're done. You've found your product, you've optimized your product, you found a supplier, you created your account and listing. So next week we're going to create a shipping plan which is also, it's not that hard, but you need to know how. So I will show you guys next week and I wish you guys a great weekend.